Hello guys, I kind of forgot about this lock. I got that from um, from a Luke Locks in the United States. It's a Texas Gym Challenge lock. You see here, Texas Gym. It's a new Euro cylinder with a. I think it's a wet lock key. Yes, it's a wet lock key. The thing looks like that. Not too bad. Uh, pretty flat. Look, does work perfectly. It looks like a, a cold cut key. So let's pick it. We we'll use any any hook I have lying around. It happened to be the number seven, but doesn't really matter. It's not a no, too hard lock to pick. I picked it once. Wasn't too hard. It should pop open right now. If I can. Just lift a little bit that last pin. Or seven. I think he's set. Something is still is still long somewhere. Yep. There we go. I took the freedom to remove the seat clip before for obvious reasons and I will take it apart uh, I don't think uh, there is a uh, T-pins or anything in there and the groove isn't that wide so I will just pull it straight out if I can find my follower here we go done so let's have a look at those keeping. This is a random spring. A spool, T pin, a serrated, a torpedo, a drunken torpedo. And I don't know what order, but I think it's like this according to the bitting. So, beautiful key pins. Now let's dump the hoppers. All this, uh, every single pl uh, chamber of that plug are threaded, but uh, not all the way to the, to the like uh, two or three threads on each one, some two, some threes. So I will get that out. As a double spool copy, serrated or made, another one of these as a spool, double spools, as a double spool, copy or made, and a steel pin, T pin, upside down T pin, it was this way in with serration on it so let me give you a close up of that beautiful pinning thank you um, Luke uh, to send me this lock and uh, please stay legal.